If you'll remember, I told you back in the beginning of March, I can't cover my brother's troubles. It wouldn't be fair. This is a unique and difficult situation, and that's okay. I know where the line is. I'm wowed by what you did, and more importantly, I'm wowed by how you did it. This was very hard. I know it's not over, but I hope you feel good about what you did for your people, because I know they appreciate it. Let's call it straight. Look at the state, look at the numbers, look at New Jersey, look at Connecticut, look how they came together. Was it perfect? No, you tell me what is. Obviously, I think you're the best politician in the country. Are you thinking about running for president? Tell the audience. No, no. No, you won't answer? I answered. The answer is no. No, you're not question. thinking about Sometimes it? Sometimes it's one word, I said no. Have no. you thought about it? No. Are you open to thinking about it? No. Might you think about it at some point? No. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Do you think False. that you are an attractive person now because you're single and ready to mingle? You're feeling pretty good about yeah. yourself these days, aren't you? CNN's Chris Cuomo now says he's sorry that his loyalty to his brother prompted him to join conference calls that included the New York governor's top aides, lawyers, and PR people. Did Chris Cuomo do more than just listen on these calls? Yes, Chris Cuomo gave uh, a lot of advice on these calls. He struck a fairly pugilistic tone. Oh, no. That sucks.